Lord has called him to a work of missions. And this is his last Sunday at his home church. And so I've asked that he would come and take a moment and just share with you about where he's going, what's going on in his heart, and uh, also want to let him know and you know that as a board, um, at our last meeting, we made a decision to uh, add him to our missions giving list. As we support missionaries monthly, we have uh, looked at his three-year term and where he is headed, and we have taken Jeffrey Meyer on as one of our own missionaries to support him monthly. This isn't me. 
can't you pick somebody else? But it didn't work, and so I signed up for it the next morning. Oh. You know, and after desperation, I, I really started getting my life in order. I got rid of the things in my life that I knew weren't right. Started spending more time with the Lord, reading His Word, and praying about this opportunity. Because even though I signed up for it, there was like a 300, about 50 other people that signed up for it as well. And you could only take 12. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Satan, after desperation, Satan started putting a few doubts in me, like if I was really called. But every time those doubts started creeping in, God was right there with the answer, and he would say, no, this is what I want you to do. Every time. Uh, and I, there was one day that went by for like four or five months that I wasn't praying about this. But Lord, if this isn't your will for me, you know, shut the door, take any desire away. But the more I prayed about it, the more I felt it was right for me. And so after a long and thorough application process, I got accepted into the program last year. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm pumped. Because I know I, this is what God has for me in my life. Even though there's a lot of unknowns, like I, the most important thing to me now is that I'm following God's will for life. Yeah. I'm going in the direction He wants me to do. That's more important to me than anything. And, uh, what the training will be, uh, I'm going to Mexico for like a few weeks, uh, starting June 2nd. And that, uh, to get a little taste of where I'm going to be uh, training at the beginning, that's the, the training grounds basically. But but then I'm going to come back to the States for a little bit, go up, do a little backpacking in Colorado with the group, work on primitive living skills because the places we're going to be going to, uh, some, a lot of times you'll have to like hike to get there even for days and there, sometimes there won't be roads to drive by vehicle. And so, and it's just a quick view of the skill set needed to survive in any situation. Um, and we're going to be doing a lot of other stuff. Uh, do some like, uh, like Bible camp or something. And uh, we're going to be working on everything. We're, the mental part of it, the physical part of it, of course the spiritual part of it. And then I'm going to be going to English school for a few months. And so yeah, I'm excited. Uh, and then uh, about sometime next year, that's when I'm going to be in Mexico for about two years straight. And that's where I'm, I'm going to be going to learn how to be a missionary by like doing the work of missionary while working alongside somebody who's been doing it for about 20 years. And so I don't have like all these cool stories yet about how, how uh, you know people come into the Lord and everything, but I I have one that I want to share with you guys that. Really, uh, I'm going to keep with me forever. Uh, last year uh, at uh, Spencer Lake Camp, I was a uh, youth counselor for the guys. And, uh, you know, there's this one young man who I knew wasn't right. His heart wasn't right with the Lord. And I kept praying for him all throughout that week. And uh, I didn't see any change, you know. And that last uh, service, I was like, this is, this is the night. This, it has to happen tonight, or it won't happen. So uh, that whole service, even before the service, I was just praying through it. During worship, I, I was just focusing and praying for him. And the preacher got up and said, there's still some people here that don't know the Lord, and he gave him an altar call. And so I talked to this young man and told him, like, this is, he really needs to do this. And he went, uh, actually, what, before he went, uh, he, he sat there for a while, and I went and sat down on the ground, and then I, I, was the Holy Spirit coming upon me, and I started bawling my eyes out. Like, I don't cry much, but this, uh, I mean, nonstop crying for like five minutes. My heart was broken for this young man, and then he went up, and then came back, and he told me, that, yeah, he did. He, he repented. And then, then uh, after the morning, the joy of the Lord came upon me. And I started laughing. And laughing. Like, 
not like my normal laugh, but it was like a really obnoxious laugh while this service was going on. And, and, uh, and I couldn't control it, and I started feeling my, leg, my legs were going out. So I laid down on the ground and on my back, and my arms were flailing around my legs. And I couldn't control it, but I was so happy. The joy of the Lord was upon me. I couldn't contain it. It was like one of the most amazing experiences in my life. And I really realized after, like in Luke chapter 15, it talks about how all heaven rejoices when uh, one sinner repents. Amen. And I believe God has given me a little taste of how much He loves the lost. His heart is broken for each sinner. He showed me that through, through the crying. My heart is broken for Him as well. And then uh, after the repentance comes the joy. I can give me a little taste of that. And that I Amen. Thank you so much for that. It was amazing. And I'm going to keep that with me ever. That, that's such motivation for me. There's no greater miracle than someone giving their heart to the Lord. And Amen. that's what's going to keep me going through all the mission for you. San Antonio, and then the next day I'm flying to Mexico City from there. So make sure you give me a goodbye hug before you leave. <laughs> and thank you, thank you guys so much. You've been all so amazing. I've gone here for like 16 years, and I think you all, you've all had a part in bringing me to this point. And I know some of you have personally committed to support me, and I thank you so much for that. And keep in your prayers. Please, thank you.